My name is Ms. Hester and I'm coming to you from Sycamore Library for a family reading night story time. And family reading night is an event where we like to encourage all families to read together. So um, we hope that you'll enjoy sharing a couple of books with me and um, we're going to tell a story on our flannel board as well. Tell a story a different way and we're going to sing a couple of songs. So um, let's get started. <laughs> um, I always like to start story time out with a song and one of my favorites is called We Clap and Sing Hello. So we're going to start out by clapping and we're going to sing this song a couple of times so that everybody has a chance to learn the words. And it goes like this. <gasps> we clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. And I like to stomp and sing hello. Do you like to stomp too? Maybe you can even get your grown-ups to stomp with you. So I'm going to stomp on the floor, but you can stand up if you want to stomp. If you want to get up and stomp around the room like this. <gasps> we stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Oh, great job, guys. So our first story is going to be one of our favorite stories here at the library. In fact, it's such a favorite at the library that we named the main character our book president. We voted, we voted Pigeon book president on Facebook and here in the library. So this book is called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. <laughs> and the words are by Mo Willems and the pictures are also by Mo Willems. And we thank the publisher, Hyperion Books for Children of New York for um, publishing this book. So here we go with Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Here is our bus driver. Hi. I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. And there he goes. But who is this? I thought he'd never leave said the pigeon. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please, I'll be careful. I tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. <gasps> vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom, pigeon at the wheel. No, I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. <gasps> Let me drive the bus, said the pigeon. Looks like that pigeon's feeling pretty frustrated right now. He really wants to drive the bus. And maybe he's also feeling a little bit sad. Oh, there's our bus driver. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Did you guys let the pigeon drive the bus? Great, thanks a lot. Uh-oh. 
thinks the pigeon. Bye. Oh, our pigeon's feeling sad again. He really wanted to drive the bus. Hey, what's this? What is that? It's a big red truck. And the pigeon is imagining himself at the wheel of the truck, driving the truck, using the radio on the truck. Maybe that's his next, his next scheme. Maybe that's his next plan. But we'll have to read another pigeon book to find out because that is the end of Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, this fantastic book by Mo Willems. So one of the other ways that we um, learn about reading and about words and we practice our reading skills is actually by singing. And um, this helps us kind of learn to break words down into smaller parts. And also a lot of songs have words in them that we don't use every day. So singing is a great way to also practice your reading skills. Um, so I have a song to share with you about a turtle that gets into the bath. And it, it goes like this, and we need a little turtle and a, his little shell. <laughs> and it goes like this. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. Nom, 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 nom. And now he's home, sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. Do you want to sing it again? That way everyone will have a chance to learn the words and participate. Here we go. You got your turtle and your shell. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. <laughs> And he ate up all the soap. Oh, no, 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 no. And now he's home, sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Bubble, 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 pop. All right. So for our next story, we are going to tell this story using our flannel board. So we're not going to look at a book, but the words of this story are from a book. And this story is called Fall is Not Easy. And the words and the pictures of the book are by Marty Kelly. And the publisher of the book is Zeno Press Children's Books. So Fall is Not Easy is a story about a tree. And it goes like this. Winter is easy. My branches are bare. Then snow starts to melt and spring is in the air. Oh, look at all those beautiful springtime leaves. Springtime is easy, green leaves start to grow. Then spring rains are followed by the summer sun's glow. Summer is easy, just bask in the sun. Then breezes blow cooler and summer is done. But fall is not easy. It's time for a change. Green leaves turn colors, but mine look all strange. Does that look right? Does that look like the fall trees in your neighborhood? I'm not sure that looks like the fall trees in my neighborhood. Let's see what this tree does. That isn't right. And that's just all wrong. My colors won't go where I think they belong. Is that one right? My leaves should be fire, all brilliant and bright. That doesn't seem right either. I try and I try, but they just won't come out right. Close, but not quite there. And just as my patience begins to wear thin, The tree did it, the tree grew fall leaves. Just as my patience begins to wear thin, my leaves all fall off and it's winter again.
but winter is easy. And that's the end of our flannel board story. So I have one more book to share with you for this story time. And this is a book that we can sing together. It's one of my favorite books to sing. It's called The Seals on the Bus. And I bet a lot of you know the, the song The Wheels on the Bus, and that's the tune we're gonna use. But The Seals on the Bus is a different story. And it's a story where we get to make lots of animal noises. So you are welcome to make all the animal noises with me. And that includes grown-ups. <laughs> so this story, the words are by Lenny Hort, and the pictures are by G. Brian Karras. And we thank the publisher Henry Holt and Company. The seals on the bus. We are waiting at the bus stop. And who is waiting at the bus stop but a seal? Here we go. The seals on the bus go or 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 the seals on the bus go or 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 all around the town. The tiger on the bus goes ra 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 ra. The tiger on the bus goes ra 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 all around the town. And how do you think all these people are feeling about a tiger getting on their bus? The geese on the bus go honk, 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 honk. The geese on the bus go honk, 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 all around the town. Oh, who's getting on the bus now? It looks like a whole bunch of rabbits. The rabbits on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The rabbits on the bus go up and down, all around the town. The monkeys on the bus go eat, 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 eat. The monkeys on the bus go eat, 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 all around the town. <gasps> oh no! There are a bunch of snakes on the bus, and not just snakes, but vipers. The vipers on the bus go hiss, 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 hiss. The vipers on the bus go hiss, 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 all around the town. The sheep on the bus go ba 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 ba. The sheep on the bus go ba 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 all around the town. That bus is getting pretty crowded. I wonder who's gonna get on next. Oh no! It's the skunks, and they are spraying their stinky skunk smell all over the bus. Pee you! The skunks on the bus go The skunks on the bus go all around the town. And the people on the bus go help, 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 help. Help, help, help! The people on the bus go help, help, help! All around the town. But it looks like at the end they were all able to get along and have a party with popcorn. So that seems like a good ending to this book. And that is the end of our last book. But before we go, I'd like to share one more song with you. And this song is about a rocket ship. And it's called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. So we're going to sing it two times. Are we ready? It goes like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Okay. 
Count down for a blast off. Are you ready to count down? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We're gonna sing it one more time. Let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Okay, let's count down for a blast off. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And that's the end of our family reading night story time. Thank you so much for joining us here on um, online. And you can visit us at sycamorelibrary.org. And you can also give us a call, chat with us online, or um, come in in person. Uh, we can, we're happy to make book recommendations. And of course, we have lots of great stories and other um, object or other materials for you to check out. So thank you for coming to Storytime tonight. Happy Family Reading Night!